not doing a video yet today. Go away. Got stuff to do. Just hanging out. Oh, I'm not gonna go away until I make a video. Okay, I'm gonna put my game face on. Hi, it's the Bad Wolf, aka James C. Lovett. I'm glad you guys came to my channel. Now remember, everything here is educational information only. So let me thank you for coming here today and for the donations and for visiting blacksite32.com. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the Wolf. All right, so um, more information. Okay, so I've let me just say one. Remember, guys, I'm not going to answer questions on the bonds. Okay, what I what I put in the videos, that's that's all we're going to do. All right, um, go from there. Contact those people. Be nice. Uh, and if it, they want to work with you, they will. Okay, it's kind of a touchy thing, and I'm not. My name is Bennett, and I'm not in it. Uh, next, if you see anybody out there using any of these materials in a negative way, especially on YouTube, report them, especially if they're slanging the S word, okay? Because uh, we don't play that. That's harassment and slander, okay? And my stuff is copyrighted. Other way. Thanks. Yeah, right there. And all the other stuff, okay? My images. Uh, but if you're using it in a positive way, by all means, I don't care. Uh, feel free. Other channels, you can use it as long as it's not a negative way. You no know, names are being called and slander and all that other good stuff. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so what is this video about? Glad you asked. Well, of course, we all know about the authentication process. We know each state is a little bit different. We know that you should have a notary or a notary seal or your seal, seal of your state on your documents otherwise they will not authenticate them okay and usually if they're gonna do it it means that it is it's probably in the federal or some other jurisdiction and um, you're gonna pull it out of that jurisdiction by authenticating it okay it's kinda of funny how a lot of people are now talking about this process when like nobody was talking about this process when I first started and there was a couple of people who were front runners like like your boy but uh, now everybody's on it so I guess it is. I guess it just goes to show knowledge can spread out there. It's not a bad thing. All right. So if your state doesn't do authentications, they only do apostilles or certifications. Don't be confused by the process. Make sure that you ask them if they do it for non-Hague countries. Okay. If they say, well, our our process is about the same, or it's whatever. Okay. Ask them, call them, email them, get confirmation. Don't assume, okay? Because maybe that person behind the counter doesn't know what you're doing or what they're doing. That does happen. Stop giving these people and corporations and uh, government agencies and cops and people at the post office this whole, oh, they're wearing the uniform, so they got to be 100% on how, knowing how to do all this stuff and what this, all this stuff is, and they all got A's for grades. No you guys work with people that would say the opposite. What do you think, they're special? They only get top grade people there? Mm, mm, mm Okay, thanks, good. All right, now that being said, um, if you're going to authenticate, and for those people who know, we, we've talked about the alternatives to especially doing the birth certificate, but dash more, okay? I was talking with a person today and they brought up something that I had seen but I did not process it so even though I get lots of my stuff right even I sometimes miss things or I don't know things because those happen even though according to some of your emails you guys must think I'm a god or something yes kiss the ring mm. because you guys are asking me all kind of questions and I'm like whoa now I handle about 99% of them which is really good but I don't know all the things I never will not even one lawyer L lawyers spend seven years learning one aspect of law okay not even the magistrates know it all that's why they go to their little secret chambers and they go let me type let me see what they got here okay um, and also remember guys I don't do court cases I'm sorry um, I'll be honest if I even were to you guys probably wouldn't want to afford me. I'd be just as expensive as a lawyer. Although better than most of them. Um, and I've already beaten lawyers and DAs and all kind of stuff in this stuff. Um, 
but you have to understand that it's just too time consuming and I don't want the liability and I can't be there with you okay and so you have to learn it if you're gonna stand up to them if you're gonna stand up to the bully stand up to the bully okay so let's get into it what am I talking about well I've been alluding up to this is that it never came to my attention that we may should probably should definitely should authenticate other documents What? right we've been just using it for the birth certificate or the certificate of live birth because of the passport process for reasons then explained um, but the actual certificate of live birth they're kind of been merging or doing what's known as alter ego because these hospitals are typically under federal jurisdiction or they're getting federal or state money and so we've been seeing QCIP numbers on what are supposed to be pure innocent and good certificate of live birth so they're mer it's kind of like I don't know if they're even aware of this but it's kind of not proper in the system for them to merge that but then at the same time they just need to change the name on um, anyway we won't get into that but just know that if especially if your state of life birth has a QCIP number a red QCIP number or a black number on the back or something like that it's got a federal finger on it okay of some sort so they're trying to claim you were born in a between a free world and the federal jurisdiction they're merging alter ego so that's why it's also good to get the certificate of live birth made otherwise use one of the alternate forms that we talk about on in my other videos all right so in checking with this and I was in the live consultation now here we're on the Department of State uh, travel website for the because they also authenticate okay and the Department of State does that as well so I know you probably can't see this because it's blurry and you've got the annoying lines going up because my systems won't match speeds uh, but it says they can do birth certificates marriage certificates death certificates divorce decrees court documents and federally issued documents um, some, okay that's pretty much about it so what does that mean well this is educational information only from your favorite non-belligerent non-combatant non-resident alien um, leader of Lovitica it means that you are removing those things from their jurisdiction you're authenticating it okay everything that that those are based on are going to be you know either federal or state or state federal or um, whatever and you are in in Hague those are part of the Hague Convention and you're moving it into non Hague well now I will be honest and say I don't know exactly what that would entail for let's say your marriage certificate but if I was a guessing man are you a guessing man okay I would say that it could mean that you are removing the interest that a state would have in those affairs if you catch my understanding now it's just my speculation because we know this is basically what we're doing um, with the bet with the uh, passport process and the birth certificate so I'd have to assume which makes an ass out of you and me Oop, I use the a word my bad sorry kids um, that uh, that's what you're doing so does that apply to the death certificate and how would you use it I don't know so we'll have to do more research on that um, but uh, there's something there but we don't know what yet but we know it's something so if you need to use these in other countries who are that are not Hague or you just want the jurisdictional thing shifted we'll, we'll say entertainment purposes only then it wouldn't hurt to get them authenticated if they're telling you you can do it there must be something to it oh I rhymed I knew it oh do it again ha all right so that's it guys um, not a particularly long video oh, it's almost 10 minutes my bad okay I guess it was a longer video for me although I know some of you are like you can make longer videos well maybe I'll slowly start to make longer videos I just know that some over here hey 
there you go. I just know that some people don't have long attention spans, and so we've already been very successful keeping these videos less than 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to keep doing. If you guys only want, you know, 10 minutes of my time, that's what she said, um, then that's all you're going to get. All right, so thank you guys. Appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. If you're watching this, um, which I guess you are because you're seeing me, right? Okay. Uh, I'm going to be taking a break from making videos for about another month, maybe two, as we go into January and February, and it's like 10 degrees outside, so it's cold, so I'm going to be reading books. I'm going to be jumping on the other channel because people are like, I subscribed, where are the videos, want to hear some stuff, so <laughs> I'm going to be over there because, you know, got to have another channel so I can have, you know, another three trolls um, join that channel too and, and get, you know, and, and, you know, try to quote and whatever else and bother me whatever so but to the rest of you guys thank you for this positive uh support thank you for the positive emails telling me how these things have changed your life that is great remember always to maneuver carefully i'm only here to provide you with educational information and you guys have to do the rest of the work because it doesn't make sense for me to do all the processes for you if you don't learn the process and how to do it for yourself especially if you want to call yourself you know an American national, which means you are able to self-govern and navigate. Sorry, but I'm going to make you use your brain a little bit because I love you. All right, take care, guys. Talk to you later. i got some more videos to go get going here. Get, get, get going and going.